This is uh, Pepito. This is meat. Is that Pepito? What? No. This is Pepito right here. Anyways, I don't know. That, that looks is... delicious. Oh, Pepito. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Omar from Young Royals. And I'm Edvin. We co-star together in Young Royals on Netflix and we're so excited we're making a season three. It's the holidays and I was born in Venezuela before moving to Sweden, so I'm going to share some famous Venezuelan foods with you. I'm so excited. This is Taste Buds. We are going to start with the arepas. This is something that uh, I personally love eating for breakfast. Okay. For breakfast, you can have eggs, avocado, cheese, a lot of butter. This is chicken and uh, avocado. And what's this? It looks like pancakes. Let's take a bite. Yeah, let's take it out. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Vale, vamos. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> I actually don't do this my I don't cook arepas myself because I'm lazy. It's not super hard though. I don't get the 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 bread this good. Oh. It's hard to get it like this right. is delicious. Mm. Mine was very spicy. It was? Yeah. Mine was good. Nice. Yeah. Funny thing, I don't really remember the first year when I moved to Sweden. Everything was so completely different. But I do remember everything before. But it was a big difference from Venezuela. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, the language. But I kind of picked the language up really quick. Like after just six months or something, I started speaking. I didn't really think speaking Spanish was cool. No. I thought Swedish was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my mom got so mad. And whenever I said to her, like, Can I yeah. uh, I'm thirsty. Can I please get a water, mom? Or whatever. She was like, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> She's like a I'm like, Mom, super please, strict language can I teacher. Please just get like, can you please give me like, I don't know, whatever, yeah. whatever it was. She was like, do I look Swedish to you? I'm not understanding a single word you're saying to me until you start speaking Spanish. And then thanks to her, I speak Spanish like fluently. Yeah, now you're like trilingual. You speak English, yeah. Swedish, and Spanish. My mom's arepas are better, trust yeah. me. <laughs> How long does it take to like make one? Like if I'm, if if I'm tired uh, at home and I feel like I'm just about to go to sleep but I'm hungry. 10 minutes. And I feel like I want some arepas. 10 minutes? 10 minutes with eggs and cheese and, and butter, 10 minutes. It was good. I think I like the uh, meat one more than the chicken one actually. We should try the ayakas. Ayakas. Yes. Okay. What does uh, it mean? What does ayaka mean? Ayaka is just a name, I think. Okay. Um, but <laughs> this this is try, trying to find the meaning of all this. <laughs> this is something that you eat on the holidays. Okay. Christmas and New Year's. Yeah. In Venezuela. This takes a lot of time cooking. Were you a picky eater when you were a kid? Yeah, a little more pickier yeah. than what I am today. Yeah. Whenever I wanted to eat this, or whenever my mom, because my mom always said to me, "You have to eat." Yeah. Yaka, every single Christmas. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, bro. All my family were like, are you not gonna eat an ayaka here? Okay. You, you don't can, get away. Oh, yeah. no. like, you you have to eat it. Away. You have yeah. to eat it. Okay. And so sometimes they were nice to me and they made like a special ayaka for me without like olives and oh, weird stuff in the it. The kids' version. Yeah, the yeah. kids' version. <laughs> Super easy. I haven't eaten an ayaka in years, I think. <laughs> this is so hard. Okay, no, no. Oh, no. Wait, and you actually right. cooked these. So you put it in a You put pig. it in boiling water? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You're, you're not eating the leaves? No, you're not gonna oh, eat okay. the leaves. That was close. You're not gonna eat the leaves. <laughs> that was close. Look, they're huge. Oh. Bebelinda. Bebelinda. <laughs> it looks like a real yeah. ayaka. You got it? You see it? <gasps> Ooh, that was close. When I was a kid, I didn't like these. Rusin. Raisins. Yes. Yeah. Do you know all of the, these words in English that I keep re <laughs> keep forgetting? Let's try an ajaka. It looks a bit like an omelet. Wait, I, have, I need to grab the dough. I never thought in my life that I would see you eating an ajaka. Me neither. I don't know why you didn't like this as a kid. I don't know. But I like it more today. I, I mean, I don't hate ayaka. It's very like, um... This one was actually pretty good. Yeah, this was really good. 
my family, we do a lot of um, traditions, especially at Christmas. We have this thing in Sweden, which is like, um, it's called julmust. Uh, Super good. Yeah. It's like... Um, it's like a soda? Yeah, it's like a soda, but it tastes Christmas. <laughs> I don't it's know Christmas. really what it tastes like. It's Christmas in a soda. Yeah, it's super It's super good. So we mix that with like beer and red wine, I think. Wait, what? Yeah, it's a super weird uh, combination. That's a fun tradition. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard about this tradition, ever. Me neither. That's the thing. I've never heard anyone else outside of my family who's done this. What I love doing is being with my family, like Christmas and New Year's Eve. A lot of my family have moved out from Venezuela to Argentina, the Caribbean, the US, Spain. We're in Sweden, so it's been hard being together. Some of my family, we're gonna be together in Spain for New Year's and Christmas Eve this, this year, so for 2023. Nice. For the first time in like over 10 years. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so it's gonna be so much fun. Yeah. So we're gonna do, cook these. I'm gonna get a special one and we're gonna dance to holiday music, Venezuelan holiday music, and your music. Hang out. No, not my music. Okay, bro. <laughs> no. This was good. I actually enjoyed it. Really? Yeah. That makes me happy. Yeah. Good. What's this? So, are you ready for the last bite? Yeah. So far, it's two for two. I like them both. Nice. Yeah. I'm happy. Um, this is also something that we usually eat uh, during Christmas mm -hmm. and New Year's Eve. Uh, it's called pan con jamón. Super easy. You know what? Uh, pan what con jamón. Pan con jamón. Bread with ham. Let's try. It. Let's see if your Cheers. taste buds have developed. Cheers. Vale. Mm. <laughs> Do you feel the sweetness? Yeah. I was just gonna say there's something very sweet in this. Mm. Is there something like some sort of dough or something in this? Um, I mean, the bread is a dough. Well, it's very sweet. Um, <laughs> is it common to have olives in them? I think so, yeah. Yeah? But not bacon. Not bacon? No, this is something... This is a twist with a bacon. Oh. The New York version. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, think, I think it's okay. I was talking to our head writer, Lisa Ambion. She said, like, I've always pictured Young Royals in three parts thanks to the fandom, thanks to our audience, that we're able to make a season three because they've been so engaged, so passionate about this story. For us to be able to like close this Chapter. beautiful story yeah, with with the third season is, is um, it's a treat, I yeah. think. It's crazy. Yeah, but it's such a nice project because like it was your first acting gig and it was the first time I, there's a clear like breaking point between me before I got the part and after I got the part. I think. Both of us have been, we've developed so much like as persons and, and as friends and as actors. It's just a huge thing being, feeling represented in yeah. some way. The feeling of being represented and the feeling of being accepted of who you are. That's what I want our audience to remember that like, it, it doesn't matter who you are. Um, yeah. You're, you're valid no matter who you are. Yeah. No matter the circumstances, just be yourself. I guess that's what I want the audience to take with them. I feel uh, happy that we're getting to do the third season, but also sad because it's gonna end. Well, uh, Edwin, yeah. thank you for being my taste bud. Of course. Thank you for I'm trying checking. out the Venezuelan food. Muchísimo gracias. De nada. Gracias. De nada, si Bebe linda. Bebe linda. Yeah. <laughs>